Good morning, Good morning, Ambassador to Hinden. We are here on the beautiful National Mall in Washington, D.C., in front of the gorgeous Lincoln Memorial on a, an early and chilly morning. Admittedly, it's probably not as cold here as it is in Switzerland. But I do want to, on the occasion of the Swiss Touch campaign, submit to you some questions that were sent to us uh, via social media. Why and how could Switzerland's vocational education and training system be a model in the United States? It's up to the United States, to the Americans, what they want uh, to take from this model. In Switzerland, it proved to be very successful. It's uh, education where you learn most of what you learn in a company, to some extent in the real world, and then in addition to this, you have classroom training. This has led in Switzerland to a very well-developed and skilled labor force but has also helped to keep youth unemployment very low in international comparison. And you've had productive dialogues with uh, representatives from the U.S. administration on this very topic, correct? With the U.S. administration on the federal level, but also in many states. And uh, we're also discussing a lot with the, the American business community. What we have seen is an increasing interest uh, in, in this model, and uh, this makes us also proud to some extent. Terrific. I read recently that uh, Switzerland was ranked the number one country in the world. Why is that? Yeah, this was uh, from uh, US News and World Report's uh, ranking. They checked many different categories, and then Switzerland proved to be, let's say, the favorable country. It's not one single issue, but uh, life quality, job security, innovation, culture. And so this, this was the average. We won in the average, but not in all the different categories as well. Our family would like to take a trip to Europe next summer. And I was wondering what cities or what places in Switzerland would be ideal for a family. There are many places. You have a couple of uh, interesting, uh, interesting bigger cities like Lucerne, Geneva, very international, Zurich, the, let's say, economic center, or Bern, our capital, which is still a medieval city in its center. But what you should not miss is the mountains, the, the Alps, the glaciers, the Matterhorn, where actually this campaign started, the Iconic Mountain. You, you could easily spend a week or two weeks in Switzerland uh, visiting exciting places. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much okay. and thank you very much for right. coming. I heard that Switzerland is the sixth largest investor of the United States. Can you tell me more? Yes, this is surprising. It was surprising for me as well. I didn't know. Switzerland is among uh, the, the, the biggest investors in the United States. By those investments, half a million jobs are created. And what is interesting, it's uh, the jobs from all the foreign investments with the biggest share of research and development. So it's very interesting jobs. And the uh, interest uh, of Swiss companies in becoming active in the United States is even increasing.